So there's this new movie called Crazy Rich Asians and somehow Hollywood has managed to whitewash this one too. Wow, they've really Caucasian watched this. Your Nicholas D. Characters that they replaced with white actors. Wait, that's Aquafina. Yeah. Nah, no, I'm just playing. I don't think there was much that they could do to flip that one since Asians, it's in the title. So if you guys haven't seen, there's this new trailer out for this movie called Crazy Rich Asians. It's by Warner Brothers. It's a big motion picture. It's based off a popular book and it's got people talking. You know, on our channel, we cover a lot of things Asian. So here's my take on why you should go watch the movie and also why you shouldn't. Huh? So the first reason why you should watch that movie is it's the first all Asian cast of a big movie in 25 years And you know to all the Asians who are used to being waiter number three or sexy little Asian girl number two I mean, this is a big deal. They put a 30 million dollar budget behind it So, you know, they didn't cheap out It's got a successful Asian American director behind it John M. Chu who's also done these movies and it's got a whole lot of funny Asian comedians in it Some of whom we know so the second reason why you should watch this movie is because if it does well at the box office Then it's actually gonna open the doors for more Asians to be in movies. People need to see that our faces can draw the crowds and make money. Well, that experiment of giving Asians a movie didn't really work. Back to being martial artists and token Asians. And the third reason why you should probably watch this movie is because it does expand and go beyond the usual stereotypical Asian movie roles. There's eccentric elites, there's professors, there's royalties, there's boats, there's Asians, there's English. I mean, how many movies got all those elements in it? I mean, a lot of people, including a lot of Asians, didn't even know that there was an Asian country where English was their official language. Singapore. And reason number four is that it links Asian Americans with their FOB Asian counterparts, which nowadays with globalization is even more relevant. And when at any point in time was there ever a movie that was filmed in English where like two Asian people fell in love? There's no movies where Asian people fall in love. We don't even know that Asians can fall in love. And the fifth reason is it's based off a really popular book that was at first written mostly for Asians, but then really blew up amongst non-Asian women. Can you believe it? Guys, the book about an Asian love story was popularized by non-Asians. This is important because it shows that this movie is not just meant for the internal Asian community and it's not just releasing at Asian theaters and Asian areas. It is a theatrical release. It's a big movie. And the sixth reason why you might want to watch this movie is that the Fung Bros, we make a very, very short cameo in it. No, we did not get paid to be in the movie and no, we did not get paid to make this video. And no, I don't even think I'm going to get an IMDB credit for being in, as a background extra, but I got to meet the cast and the crew and they were all very cool people and they're just trying to make a movie that makes an impact. Now it's time to be the devil's advocate. If you're looking for a great excuse not to watch this movie, here's one. It's about rich Asians, mostly Singaporean, Malaysians, and Chinese. So if you don't relate to that story or you don't care to see it, then don't watch it. From now until the movie comes out, you might hear some Asians saying, everybody Asians should watch and support this movie. It's for representation. Ah! Nope, as you guys know, there are many different types of Asians from different backgrounds and not everybody is gonna relate to this story or even wanna see it at all. Maybe you have a negative connotation about rich Asians. Maybe this movie changes your mind. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. You just gotta decide for yourself. I think a lot of people might be surprised to hear me say this, but you do not have to support it just because there's a lot of Asians in the movie. I mean, listen, maybe you wanna go watch a movie more like Better Luck Tomorrow, Bang Bang, or Gook, or something about like basketball or something a little bit more like conventionally American. I mean, listen, it's valid. All right, all right, all right, all right. Personal bias aside, this is not the Asian Black Panther Wakanda Forever or the Asian Get Out that some of you guys were waiting for. Someone out there should write that, by the way. It's supposed to be a romantic comedy. It's supposed to be maybe a little bit cheesy, very fun. I mean, people don't even think that Asians can have fun. Oh my gosh, Asians on boats and fast cars? That's crazy. We need a date night movie too. Why do we only have to watch white people fall in love and whip each other? I'm a kid. <laughs> Every show and every movie that shows Asians in a different light is one step for representation. You know Hollywood takes time. I mean, to be honest, this is kind of a groundbreaking movie in some ways. Now, whether you wanna watch this movie or not, just know that movies like this do help Asians in the big picture. <sighs> not the small picture. This movie does not represent all different types of Asians, but still a stepping stone, still a stepping stone. 
It's getting there. It's getting there, guys. It takes time. All right, everybody, that's my two cents on it. And even though we appear very slightly in the background of the movie, I, don't, I didn't, we didn't even get paid two cents to be there. Either way, I'm gonna leave the link down below to the trailer so you guys can see for yourself and, and decide whether you wanna go watch that movie. But it does look like a fun movie. Seems like a good date night movie. I don't know. Anyways, guys, we haven't done a video like this in a while. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Give this big thumbs up. Shout out to David. He's out in New York. I'm actually back home in Seattle right now for a while. Yes, I did move back home with my parents. Um, more on that later. But everybody, until next time, we out. Peace.